I would first of all like to thank all of our wonderful speakers for your words of courage. and encouragement. And I would like to thank you who are here in this gathering for your lives of courage, for your dedication to a free and democratic Iran and therefore to your dedication to a true human rights community. Again, I quote President Nelson Mandela who said, to deny people their human rights is to challenge their very humanity. There is no such thing as a part freedom. Either we are fully free or we are not free at all. The US, the UN, and the EU have said that they are dedicated to a system of human rights, to democratic governance. If that is the case, why are those countries and all institutions silent in the face of Prime Minister Maliki's double dealings? How can it be that they continue to support him economically and politically when they see his actions of running to Tehran over and over. How can they trust him when he has said over and over that he is in agreement with Iran that the MEK must be done away with. Most recently, just a couple of days ago, the Iranian official news agency reported that Prime Minister Maliki was in Iran, was in Tehran, met with the mullahs, and was given instructions. He was first given praise for what he has already done. What has he already done that the mullahs would be giving him praise? Murder, unarmed people, execute fathers, mothers, carry away hostages. That he accepts that praise for those actions should be enough for the world to say, we no longer trust you. It should be enough for the US and the UN and the European Union to say we know that the refugees are not safe with you, but we also know that democracy is not safe with you. The silence must end. The complicity must end. And we gathered here today have to be the voices to bring an end to that silence, to pressure those governments. And I, as a South African, know what a determined world community can do because it was the people of the world who applied pressure on the apartheid government that forced that government into negotiations so that we could today be honoring the first president of a democratic South Africa. And as we say farewell to him, say that the words he spoke at his inauguration in South Africa about our country are the words that will be spoken in Iran not too long from now. Never, never, and never again will people be oppressed in this beautiful land. Thank you.